Hey there, so my name's Simon once again. I spoke to you this morning. Um, I actually booked a haircut with Emily, one of my friends. And, um, you know, I shoot these little videos for, uh, for friends and friends of friends and things like that every now and then just to help them out, uh, increase their online presence and drive more traffic to their website and to their business. Um, you know, because there's a few easy actionable tips and I rip, you know, what kind of gave me the idea to do this was for you was, uh, as I came onto your website, I noticed that you had taken, you know, some of these different things that I talk about and, um, and utilize on the site. And if you've done that on your own, that's really cool. You've, um, probably been through quite a few other sites and checked them out and seen what some other, uh, ranking websites are doing. So really good job. Um, to give you some other tips, uh, there's three main things that we look at, um, and they are content on your website. Usually words um, are pretty important. Now on a website like yours, on a home homepage, um, Google likes to see at least 1,500 to 2,000 words, and Google really looks for content um, that adds value for people to read, that people actually wanna come across and read. And that's going to huge, uh, add a huge amount of value to you. However, of course, with your you've got a really sleek, clean design. Uh, so I think if you wanted to do a similar, you know, create a similar um, idea without sort of putting too much content on your homepage, you can you could start a little blog network and maybe just start writing some blogs on on hair styling and things like that that people might want to read. Um, and once again, you can get you can get tips off other people on the web other websites. So that's number one. And what I've done is I've actually compared you to a couple of people that I've found here. Um, so I've typed in hair salon into Google and I've, I'm taking a look at these guys texture, uh, a salon because they are ranking in the top of this little map pack here, which you probably already know is super important. So if you wanted to get in there, these tips are really going to help. And you know, this organic ranking here, I've gone for the collective hair. Yelp, when you get this stuff right, you will be overnight. Um, people think that Yelp and Home Advisor and all those really big listing companies are really hard to beat, but because you're a local brand or a local business, Google will actually favor you over these guys once you have proven yourself. Um, and that's kind of what we're, you know, that's kind of the whole online presence. Once your online presence is strong enough and big enough, that's when it starts to really take you seriously. So, Coming through here, they're the, they're the two top competitors I've kind of um, taken and I'm gonna show you what they're ranking for and how they're doing that. So number one is content. If I come along and look at these guys, they've got a little bit, um, but very little. So right now they're literally ranking mostly, I say mostly because they have, they just have the um, the authority, you know, they've just been there probably a little bit longer than most people or they've done just enough to rank without even knowing it. So they've kind of gotten lucky. And the fact is it's almost the same with these guys. You can see they've got a little bit of content, but no like no blog, no concerted effort in trying to add any real value to the internet. It's just it's just for bookings. Um, and that's fine. It's just if you want to outrank them, you would add add some content. So that's number one content. Um, number two is what we call backlinks. And I've put your website here into a tool I use called Arifs. And this just shows me like everything that's going on in the background of your website, helping it rank. And I'm not sure if I made it clear, ranking on Google is a very, very, very powerful um, form of, of marketing that people don't you know utilize often enough. And I'm gonna show you why right here if I look at your organic keywords and these are all keywords that people are typing into Google every day every week every month um, to find your your service so you can see here hair salon Carlsbad is typed into Google a hundred times per month currently you're sitting in position 13 if this is still accurate this was measured on the 14th of June but you're sitting around the th position 13 which is obviously on page 2 there's 10 results per page and you're getting one, it's estimating that you're getting 1.4 clicks per month from that. And then what we try and do generally, and this is what you would be trying to do is, in, uh, is, is incorporating all of these different keywords into your content. So you'll see some of them are the same and some of them are similar, but each one is as important as the next. 
because they all have their own amount of volume. So the idea is if you can get it up to where you're ranking on page one for a thousand or a couple of thousand volume, um, you will end up, you know, capitalizing on a lot of this traffic and then obviously, you know, a lot more bookings. And you can see here my friend Emily is actually being searched for 10 times a month, which is very, very strange. But hey, um, she's actually adding some value to you guys. So that's cool. Now, um, if I come along and look at these guys, so, so right here, if I, sorry, click back here. If I show you sort of what this, these, this tool is estimating you're getting right now is three clicks per month. This isn't always accurate, but it's a really good indication of where your overall ranking sits. So over here, we've got the collective and they're getting 106 clicks per month from those keywords that I just showed you, um, you know, Carlsbad, Salon, etc. I don't need to go back into that. I'll just try and keep this a little bit shorter. Um, and then these guys as well, home texture, they're getting a, a few extra because that map pack um, position one is so important. Now, the so the second thing I, I look at is backlinks and backlinks are anywhere you, your website uh, is referenced to by another um, via a clickable link. So, you know, this right here is technically a backlink. If I clicked on it and it took me to texturesalon.com, um, that's a backlink. So if you have those on other websites, you know, the ones that you put yourself, such as Facebook, Instagram, Yelp, all those different websites, where you put your website domain, that's a backlink. And they are incredibly important because what they do is link, begin to link your network together. It's no good just having a website over here, a Facebook and a Yelp if they're not linked um, because Google kind of just sees them as all standalone, um, you know, objects and rather than like one big network or brand presence that you've created. So you need to make sure that they're all linked together. And I'll take a look at some of the ones that these guys have um, just so you can see and you might be able to get yourself. Um, I know you've got Groupon. I know you've got Carlsbad Village. I'll show you yours in a minute, but you might even have site links. Yellow Pages is a good one. And there are hundreds of free listings that you can go out and get that will help boost your rankings because this is a, essentially this is just a popularity contest. Every website that's pointing back at yours via a backlink is like endorsing your website and Google sees that and it builds trust and therefore Google will begin to rank your business. Um, we come across to the collective and show you some of theirs. They've got a few more. Um, what I noticed with these guys was a lot of them are just, these are completely pointless. They're putting these in there because someone's told them that backlinks are good, which is true, but it's more about the quality of the backlink than it is how many you have. So these ones here are adding absolutely zero, zero value to their page. They're just wasting their time getting these. Um, the only one that, you know, this adds a small amount of value, maybe a little site links. Yeah. Very, very, very small amount. And, um, but you know, so this, these guys would be very easy for you to beat if you wanted to come across and look at yours. Yeah. Carlsbad village, the coast news is a great one. Um, that's going to add quite a bit of value. Best pros in town. Definitely easy local. Definitely Groupon is okay. Living social. Okay. Yahoo. Great. And there's lots more, um, you know, local directories and hair salon directories that I would be trying to get into if I was you. So I'd be just typing in, um, you know, hair salon, hair salon directories in San Diego and try and get as, as relevant as possible. The more websites that are relevant that are linking to yours, the better. That's really important. Uh, so that's backlinks. Now the third, um, the third tip I want to mention is citations, and they're the main part of what actually help you rank into this map pack. And that's where your social medias come in in to play. Um, a citation is really just anywhere your business name, number, and address is located on on any website. Um, but it's got to be seen exactly as it's seen on your Google My Business. So if I can find yours in here, I'm sure it's here somewhere. You're not ranking your your GMB is not ranking super well yet. Um, so it needs a little bit of work, and I'll show you a couple. Of, there we go. I'll show you a couple of things here. Um, but it's you know it's Beach Beach Shack Hair Salon, and then you would have to show the full address five ten, uh, and this exact phone number. So one thing I want to point out is this has to be the same. This has to be the exact same format. 
this has to be spelled the same, capitalized the same, spaced the same, everything exactly the same. Super important. So if I come along to your website, I should see this information, this information, your hours and your number, all 100% the same. So if we look at this, we've got 10 to 4, 10 to 4, 10 to 4, 10 to 2, etc. If I come across here and you would normally a lot of people put their hours in their footer. So I would recommend you do that because what, what people want to see is consistency. Google wants to see consistency. Your address is great and your um, number is great and obviously your name. This should be a H1 tag. If you built this yourself, you might know what that is. If not, just look into what a H1 tag is and create that as a H1. And then on this page, mention that you're a Carlsbad salon, uh, you know, somewhere on this page. And and then to get those uh, hours in there and make sure they're 100% consistent. Okay, um, the next step we would come through is to take a look at some of your listings. So here's your, um, you know, your map pack listing which you, sorry, your um, Google Maps listing as opposed to the map pack li listing. And where did I notice? I noticed somewhere your hours were different and one of your phone numbers. This one here, your phone number is different. There may be a reason for that. Some people like to track where their phone, where their phone calls are coming from and that's okay. Um, but you've kind of got to weigh up the pros and cons of that because you're going to lose a little bit of consistency across your profile. So as I say, just weigh that up. This is good that you've got the, the link in there because this is your backlink coming from Yelp. Super, super important. And then your hours should be here somewhere as well. And this might've been where I saw that it was differing hours. So what's that Monday nine till seven, whereas your GMB says Monday 10 till three. So yeah, I would be fixing that up as soon as possible because soon this is a really important one. Google doesn't ever want someone turning up to a business that says it's open on say this platform, turns up and it says, and then they're closed and on their Google platform or on another platform, it says, yeah, they were actually closed. So Google's like, well, which one is it? Um, and begins to stop showing your business. So super important you get those all tidied up. I can see you've got quite a few listings through here. If I just put in Beach Shack, it's gonna bring up all your different listings. So I would be going through and really making sure that they're all extremely you know, um, uh, consistent, main thing, and that they're all linking back to your website. And then your, this is great. One thing I would be doing if you haven't been is adding in you know, these are great. Hashtags are great because they show people looking for, you know, related images and things on Facebook, uh, Google, sorry, Instagram. But what I'd be doing here is every now and then incorporating your Google My Business CID or Map Pack, I beg your pardon, um, knowledge panel listing or your website, you know, continuously linking out just every now and then. I can see you've got it here, but because that's not hyperlinked, it doesn't really count. So um, that's just something to think about. Same in your Facebook postings. You may as well be, I saw a couple down here, you were linking out to the website, that's perfect. Uh, where did I see it here? Just make sure that you're doing, you know, a couple of other listings as well. You've got, you've got other listings and it's all about creating that big network, that big web. Um, here, you've got your Instagram. You can go ahead and add, you know, you should be creating LinkedIn, um, Twitter, YouTube. You can create all of those different profiles. You don't need to use them all significantly, you know, day in, day out. But if you just post there a couple of times a month or something on those different things, um, it create, you know, it goes a long way with Google and ranking your Google My Business profile. Right here, I can see you've got HTTP. Make sure you change this as soon as possible to incorporate the S. If I come up here and have a look at your actual website, um, you know, domain. Or, or URL, it's got the S, which means it's a secure website. So every time someone clicks on this, it takes a long time. It's only a small page, but what it's actually had to do is run it through a redirect to get to the HTTPS. And when Google sees that this is the HTTP version, the non-secure version, it's less likely to take it seriously. So put the S in there, get Twitter, get your Instagram, get all of those different platforms in there because the more you have, the better. And I mean, you've already, you've got all of these different listings. It would just make sense that you that businesses have, you know, these free tools, the LinkedIn's, the Twitters, the YouTube's. It makes sense that businesses would use them um, because 
they're free and they're they're extremely powerful tools so you should go out and get those and add them all to your listings so that once again i'm just going to recap this has been a bit of a longer video because um i think that you're someone that's going to put all this to good to good use so the three things were content number one 1500 to 2000 words on your home page and put these different um keywords where are we just excuse me for a minute there they are organic keywords sorry like I've never used it before. You know, get some of these keywords in there. Hair salon, hair salon, you know, Carlsbad, Carlsbad CA, salons and, and you know, start using all of these. There's there's tons of them and there's a lot of volume here. And if you can get onto page one and you're already starting to grow with the work that you're doing, um, this is just gonna give you that push onto page one. And once you get there, yeah, you're gonna start seeing a lot more traffic and then a lot more calls coming in. Um, the second thing was backlinks. Now, most citations, which are your Facebooks, Instagrams, all of these different listings where they carry your business name, number and address, all those citations, they carry backlinks. A backlink is just that link that comes to your website from another website. So right here, vigaro.com for your, your booking tool. That's a backlink to this, to this tool. Um, in fact, I would be changing that if you've got a if you've got a beach uh, a booking tool on your website now, or is it, it takes you to Vigaro? No, it's perfect then. Um, you know, but yes, yeah, so that they're all they're all backlinks, and they come with a lot of those directories. So I'd be concentrating on getting in as many directories as you could that are relevant to you, being either San Diego or Carlsbad or Oceanside, Encinitas, like as as close to your local area as possible and then related to hair in some way or fashion or beauty, any of those different kind of, you know, that industry, industry related um, websites. So I hope that helps. Um, that'll actually give you quite a good boost because you're right on the verge of kind of breaking through. Um, and you can add to your website down here, you can actually add as many of these listings as you like. So you can go out and put your Twitter, your LinkedIn, you know, YouTube all on here and, and capture it all like a big web. Um, so yeah, Hope, that, hope this helps and uh, I'm actually just going to give this to you in, in the store so um, I'll probably be standing in front of you as you watch this. So thanks. Talk to you then. Bye.